Stonehenges, etc., of the world were placed on ground where an unusual type of geology naturally concentrates the regular daily natural electromagnetic fluctuations that occur everywhere on the Earth each day. You go into England, for example, um, the, the ley lines that cross uh, England, the Michael line, which is hundreds of miles long, crosses England, um, that carries this energy along that line. It will therefore generate uh, electric currents in the land called telluric currents in the straight geological sense of that word. And um, those occur everywhere on the planet. But we know that this delay energy, this subtle energy passes along these lines. There are certain special types of geology that will magnify those several fold. And that's what, where we found the megalith builders preferred to put their, uh, their monuments. And typically where lines cross, where you have more than one line intersecting, uh, temples were often built. These are called conductivity discontinuities, which sounds highly technical, but it's merely the place where one area of ground that has a, a good ability to conduct electricity meets another area of ground that has a lesser ability to conduct these natural electric currents. The Chinese had the same tradition. They call them dragon lines. It was illegal for a commoner to be buried on such a line. A king had to be buried on such a line. They put palaces there. There's a whole series of sacred sites. They're always built on lines like this. I want to say in this area about the location of temples. You have to have a symbols appear on the ground. When it's uh, uh, seen, then this is the place where people naturally come to get more uh, healthy energy from that spot. You know, energy pops from the earth. And it appears as though they were attempting to control the flow of this energy and use it for their own purposes. The key hours, unfortunately, are the pre-dawn hours. If you really want to study this, you've got to get up at 3 and get out there very fast. Um, that's because the, uh, the energy that's involved in these sites, that's really fueling most of it, originates with the daily changes in the Earth's geomagnetic field. Uh, it's strongest during the day, weakest at night. And in the hours leading up to dawn, the weaker field lines now come roaring back to closer to full strength very quick. It's the most dramatic time in terms of change of magnetic strength per hour. It's the most dramatic time of the day. And wherever you have uh, a changing magnetic field occurring, you, you are generating uh, electric current in anything present that will conduct electricity. It's a simple principle of physics known as induction, and, it, and it's a universal. Normally, in everyday life, we don't ever see large concentrations of this energy. Normally, it'll show up at, let's say, at mountaintops and sacred sites. You'll feel a certain calm, a certain peace. Sometimes people in those places uh, report mystical experiences. They'll see into some other dimension. Okay, they'll see into some other time. The Chinese have known about this for a long time, and they call it chi. The Hindus, in their ancient texts call it prana, and the yogis with the maintain a very ancient tradition um, use it. It affects a, a variety of different processes. Electricity, magnetism has a strong effect on that, so it modifies all the other laws of physics. Yeah!